Hey everyone, it's Jackie here. This is the channel where we talk everything about Go High Level with no BS. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use the $297 plan like the $497 plan. So if you don't know the differences between the three plans of Go High Level, check this video out. It's going to help you explain the pricings and exactly what is included in the different pricings. But today I'm going to show you how to use the $297 plan if you're just getting started. Now obviously down the path you would want to get an upgrade to the 497 plan once you've got a few clients but if you're someone that's just starting out i'm going to imagine you probably don't have very much capital like me when i just started i was a broke student when i did this so if you don't have much money i got you so i'm going to give you a quick overview of the differences between the 497 and 297 plan there's two main differences the first main difference is whenever someone signs up to your white labeled software on the 497 plan they will automatically get created as what we call a sub account and also email their login details. However, if you're on the 297, you're going to have to do that manually. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a sec. And the second big difference is on the 497 plan, you can rebuild your text and email settings. Whereas in the 297 plan, you can't make a profit off your email and text settings. All right, so let's get into it. So let's just imagine I have a client that decides to go on my pricing page and they want to press start now, on, let's say the professional plan. And once they're inside, they start filling out their details, their address, and they choose their plan, and they're going to put their card number in. And normally once you press complete order, if you're on the 497, everything will be done automatically. However, today, that's not the purpose of that. Now, once someone completes the form, they're going to go automatically into your contacts list. Now, I'm not going to press in my contacts because there's a bunch of my private contacts information, so I don't want to show it to all of YouTube. But essentially, you're going to grab those contacts and paste them in to the manual account that we're going to set up now. So let's go back into switch to agency view. And in order to create sub accounts, you must be on this page and you're going to go add a sub account. Now, the sub account, if let's say they are like a dentist or like a spa, you can totally use these snapshots. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use blank snapshot. And in the snapshot here, you can first add in the address. And let's say for this client, hey, we're in New York. So let's see if we can do, I don't know, five, what is this? Lower Manhattan. All right, we'll pick a random address and we're gonna add their account manually. So we click it. And just by doing that, you will automatically put their business, like their address in there. And for the first name, we're just gonna do something random. So let's go test two. And we'll just do one, two, three, four. Email address, I'm just gonna type something. It's not even a real email. And then you basically go in and fill in all these details. Now, I'll show you guys what it looks like once you do this. Awesome, now we're done. Once we filled out all those information, we're gonna go into this page in here, okay? Now, how to access this account is very simple. I'm gonna go back. And now the name is Fifth Avenue because I didn't change it. So you can either search it in here, scroll down, or you can just go to the search bar. Now just type Fifth Avenue and you can go into Manage Client. Now remember, this is a dummy client, right? And then from here, you can start and see what things you can do with it. You see on the 497, you can enable this for them to send phone, text, and emails. However, oh, you can't do this because they don't have a Stripe account. But if they did have a Stripe account, you'll be able to only send text and emails at the base cost. You can't pull this, pull this mark up. But let's go into switch sub accounts because now we have completed and managed to create a sub account for this client. But we still need to send them a text or email for their logins. So how do we do that? So I'm going to press ignore here and we are actually going to go back into agency view. And in agency view, we have to go to settings. Okay. And from settings, you're going to go into team and in team, you're going to add an employee. So from here, again, we're just going to do test. We'll just do one, two, three, four. And here, I'm just going to put a random email again. You're going to have to put your client's own email in there because once we save all this, it's going to send an email with their login details right here. Phone number, you don't really need it. Password, you can just do something very simple and we'll do capital test one, two, three, four exclamation mark. Okay, then you need to go into user permissions. And this is where you can actually control what your clients can see and not see. Now, if you're on the SaaS Pro version, you can control it when they first sign up. But if you wanna, let's say, only have opportunities off, you only wanna show them websites, you can control them all in here. 
And you can also do this once you're in their sub account, which I'll show you later. It's very simple. Now, lastly, for user roles, you just have to make sure you select them as a account and you're going to select them as an admin. Now, what the account and agency mean is if they're a account admin, they'll only be able to access their own account. If you make them your agency admin, that means you're going to make them the admin of your whole, whole go high level. So you don't want that. And once you get that, you're going to select the sub account, Fifth Avenue, and we're going to press save. Okay, perfect. And then now we can go into that sub account. And once you're in the sub account, just double check that in settings. And then go into my staff and he's already added in here. And that person should have already get, gotten emailed their login details to log in. Now that's just one way you can do it. There's also other ways that you can add team members. It's actually quite simple. When you go into Launchpad at the start here, you can scroll down and just say quickly add one or more team members. So you just simply type in the email address and press and press send invite. Okay, now obviously you have to do a proper email address. And once you've sent them an invite, they're gonna come in to the user permissions in here in my staff. Right? And from there you can edit what you want them to see, right? You can edit their user roles. You can edit the permissions of what they can access and can't access, right? The roles of either admin or user of this account. You can even set up their availability. If they have a lot of team members, they can say, okay, this team member is in Monday to Thursday at specific times. So when people want to book in a call with them, they can only do it during those times. So that is the big difference of how to set up the 297 and 497 account of Go High Level. Now, if you don't know already, I'm one of the top affiliates for Go High Level in the world, meaning I am able to give you a 30 day free trial of Go High Level instead of the 14 days. Now, on top of that, if you decide to sign up with me for Go High Level, I also have a completely free course where I teach my students how to set up their SaaS agency in just 24 hours. Now, again, all of these videos are like this one today where there's no BS and I get straight into the point. These videos are designed so that I take you hand in hand in setting up exactly how to make your SaaS company work with just the smallest in the fastest amount of time. I go through domain setup, how to connect your phone number, emails. I give you my own website snapshot, and I also give you how to outreach, what I use that personally worked for me, and my cold call script and how to blow your clients absolutely away in their meetings. The things that I did in this module made the client pay me $100 just by getting on a meeting with them because they saw that my time was valuable and they wanted to just pay me. And lastly, I also have my own white labeled onboarding course that you can just slot into your own software. So that's all there for you. I hope this video has helped. I'll see you in the next one.